Welcome back to my channel. This is Tony, and I'm so happy you can join me on my latest video. Now, this is for my beginner prospectors out there. So if you've just watched Gold Rush or a show by Freddie Dodge or Dave Turn, and it kind of sparked an interest into this hobby, this video is exactly what you need to watch right now. The biggest problem that people make when they first get into prospecting, they dump all this money into it. They're, it's really good equipment, but maybe they don't know how to use it or it doesn't produce the amount of gold that they think they're going to find when they start out. So I've been using a lot of this equipment over the past decade. I've used tons of stuff, some fail, some triumph. And this is gonna be a video on what core tools and equipment you need to prospect that will not break the bank. So if you decide later on down the road, you know what, this isn't for me, you don't waste a lot of money, but if it is something that you wanna do, you have a good set of tools and equipment that I guarantee you will work and find gold and, they're just, and it's not junk stuff, okay? This is good stuff, but it's not gonna break the budget. Now, first thing is gold pan. Which one do we get? Come on, you're not a prospector unless you have a gold pan. Now, this is a Garrett Super Sluice gold pan, 15 inch, got off Amazon for $27. It's a great gold pan. Everybody uses this thing. It has two riffles right here. The only downside for this pan, it's a bit heavy. That's why I narrowed it down to a gold catcher by GPAA. This thing is 14 inches wide. It has one, two, three, four riffles right here. This is my gold to gold pan when I'm out on the creek. It's super light. It's easy to work with one hand. The Super Seuss is a bit tougher because it is a little bit heavier. And this right now on their store is going for $5. Normally it goes for $12, so right now you could buy two for the price of one. You're at $10. So this is a great pan to get. Don't mess with really the small pans right now or even bigger pans. It's just a waste. Just get this pan right here. The next piece of equipment we're gonna talk about is a classifier. Now, classifiers you can buy in many different sizes, and normally they come in kits, between three and five of these in a kit for $100, $120. Now, to me, that's a waste of money because you end up only really using one classifier. And if you wanna get more classifiers later on down the road, then go for it. But for me, the one that I use most of the time is an eighth inch or a quarter inch. Now, this all depends on the type of gold that you find. For me around here, it's all flower, flood gold. Eighth inch is plenty big for what I'm finding. If you're on an area that has nuggets that are kind of big, maybe a quarter inch is what you want to use. Now this you can find off of Amazon, $25 by a company called SE. It's a great deal and really it's all you're going to need for prospecting. Now of course, if you get into it more, and you want to you know, broaden your horizons with equipment, you can get a different type of classifier, but now you're gonna start spending a lot more money. And that is with this Arbor Fab. This is, again, another eighth inch classifier that goes in a bucket, same with this one. This one's like $120, $130, but it's far superior than this. It just works a lot better. But when you start out, you don't need an expensive classifier. Just get this one for 25 bucks and save this one for later on if you're really interested. That brings us to our third item, which is a bucket. Now, this is a Home Depot bucket. You can buy these brand new for $4.48, I just checked. But you can get a bucket from anywhere, or I probably guarantee you have a ton of these around the house. So for this instance, it's free. But you need to get a bucket, maybe two. The next piece you're gonna need is a good scoop. Now this is by also SE. You can get on Amazon right now for $12. It's their sand shovel prospecting scoop. Everybody, and I mean everybody most, uses this on YouTube to prospect. You cannot go wrong with this scoop. It's super durable. You can put a lot of material in this. It'll last you for years, unless you lose it like I did and it flows down the river. They also come in orange, so it's easier to see. So get one of these. The next item we're gonna talk about real quick is a good shovel. Now, I like this brand. I got this from Home Depot. It's called Razor Back or Razor something. It's a heavy duty shovel and this will help you move a lot more material. 
Now, we're not gonna include this in the price of the total list because I think this is around 30, 40 bucks because I guarantee you, you have a shovel at your house and that equals free. The next essential item you're gonna need is a good gold snuffer bottle. Now, this is just a no name. This was probably in a kit that I got years and years ago and it's lasted a long time. But on Amazon, uh, Garrett has a gold guzzler snuffer bottle. Um, it's for $9.45 or $10. It's a really good one. Or you can buy like a two pack from an off brand. As long as it has this little tube that can suck up the gold in your gold pan when you're all done and you're recovering gold, you're good to go. No questions there. So 10 bucks, easy. Okay, so right now, if you bought all those items, you would be good to go to find some gold if you're on a gold bearing stream. But let's take it just a bit further and talk about sluice boxes because that will effectively complete your gold prospecting equipment and set you up for a really long time. Now, this is a Keen A51 sluice. I don't wanna promote this one. I just wanna show you real quick why I don't think it's good for beginners. One thing, it's too big. This thing is huge. You need to have a lot of water flow for this to work. And most of the time we're on small creeks and streams and this just isn't gonna work. It's heavy and it takes a lot of patience to set this up. And if it's not set up right, all your gold's gonna wash out, all right? This uses a moss matting or a carpet on the bottom here with riffles. It's a, it, it's a proven sluice, but for a beginner, let's just not even look at it and toss it off to the side. Now, I am gonna promote a company called Dream Mat. Now, this, the website's called prospectorsdream.com, and this is what the beginner needs to get for prospecting. Now, this is a six by 24 inch, six inches, 24, uh, adventure trek sluice or just trek sluice with the mini mat inside of this. Now on their website, it goes for uh, $97. Yeah, it's expensive, but it's way cheaper. It's probably the cheapest on the market for this size that you will find anywhere. And I'll tell you some of the benefits of why this is one of the best sluices that a beginner should get. Now for one thing, putting this in the river and setting it up is easy. You don't need a lot of water flow. It can be very forgiving if you don't have it very level and you can have different uh, rates of water flow through it if you angle it like this. The gold's still gonna get caught in here, all right? You might lose some gold. Every sluice is gonna lose gold, okay? But the amount of material that you can put through here is beyond what you can in a riffle, old style vintage sluice. Now what's great about this is that this mat comes out. There's just a little wing nut right here with a little screw. This mat comes out and you can replace it with other mats that they have on their website. Now this is the uh, Cape D mat right here. It's a lot smaller um, riffles for fine gold. And these cost between $30 to $40 for the mat. So for the initial price of $97, that gets you the sluice and the mat, you can have up to four or five different sluices just by buying different mats for $30 to $40. That's why this is the pinnacle of prospecting for beginners and your intermediate and advanced users, okay? You buy one sluice, but it actually equals five, all right? Now, this is the six by 24, perfect for the beginner. Now for the more advanced person out there, maybe you wanna go a bit bigger, that's totally fine. This is the eight by 35 Bigfoot sluice, same technology, same type of sluice mats, and this one goes for $147. That's not a bad price for this sluice. It's nice and big. Your riffle area is uh, eight by 24, let me just verify I got that right. Yeah, eight by 24, and these mats go for between 70 and $80. So you can take these mats out. This is the, uh, this is the mini mat inside of here. And the one that I like to use is the Vortex mat. It's the original one, it's big, it's great. So 
for 150 bucks, you can get the sluice with one mat, all right? But then you can have up to four or five other sluices with different mats. So you're saving yourself money by buying one thing and replacing it with the mats. Now what's great with this, with the Vortex mat and the mini mat is I can run these with unclassified. And that just means taking a shovel full of material, dumping it in here, letting the dream mat do its work, and I'm left with little cons to process in a gold pan. So I can't tell you, I can't stress enough, if you buy either the 6x24 or the 8x35 at, for a beginner, that is exactly everything you need, and you will find gold if you're on a hot bed stream. All right, that's it. Now, how much is it all gonna cost me? So, if you went with the six by 24 inch sluice, you're gonna be around 150 bucks. If you go with the eight by 35 sluice, you're gonna be around $200. I cannot stress to you how little to no money that is getting into gold prospecting and having some of the best equipment you can get on the market today. It's true, all right? When I started 10 years back, along with other people, I spent between five and $700 on all this equipment and it did not work out. And a lot of those were failures and I just wasted money. I'm telling you, for the beginner, this list is gold. For the advanced prospector, this list is still gold. I will be using these for the next five to 10 years. This is an, an investment that will not break the bank and it will catch you a lot of gold. I wanna thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments about other pieces of equipment and tools necessary for beginners, don't be afraid to drop those in the comment section, but let's remember to keep it under, um, let's keep it cheap, and but let's get some good quality in there, okay? So until next time, thanks again for watching. Happy prospecting, and I'll catch you on the next one. Prospecting, prospecting. I cannot say prospe prospecting, 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 prospecting. I can't say prospecting, 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 prospecting. Prospecting, prospecting, prospecting. All right, I got it.